You cannot deny that what Seth Rollins said on Monday Night Raw is true about Drew McIntyre when Seth Rollins said that he's dealing with the bloodline, with The Rock, with Roman Reigns, and despite everything else, the person that is on his mind, the very least, is Drew McIntyre. Which is crazy because that is the man who on night two, he is defending his world heavyweight championship against. In reality, that should be Seth's main focus. He really shouldn't care too much about The Rock. He shouldn't care about the bloodline. Seth's entire motivation over the past year was to build up that World Heavyweight Championship into making it feel like it is at least on par with the WWE Championship. He's been putting on banker matches, wrestling injured, and basically telling us every single week how important that title should be. And even before Seth Rollins said that on Raw, I think that we all could agree that Seth felt like he was the least important person involved in the tag team match. Basically because the whole storyline is really just about Cody and The Rock, Roman Reigns even himself doesn't feel that important in that tag team match. Of course he is the WWE Champion, so for him and Cody, yeah, that's important. But for the tag team match, for the storyline so far, it's just been about Cody and The Rock. So for Seth Rollins, who has been without a doubt the least important person in that mixture, to say that Drew McIntyre is the last person on his mind going into WrestleMania, yes, yes, he was just trying to get under Drew's skin, but you have to believe there is some truth to that. And with that, I believe that Drew McIntyre is going to win the World Heavyweight Championship from Seth Rollins, but because of how unimportant that they've made Seth and Drew's match feel going into WrestleMania, it kind of takes away from Drew McIntyre's moment. They're kind of making Drew and Seth both look like jokes going into this match. And I think that that is a terrible idea on WWE's part. And adding to that point, The Rock continuously mentions that the result of the tag team match only affects the Roman versus Cody match. He doesn't mention that the bloodline will not interfere in Seth versus Drew. He doesn't even make any mention to Seth or Drew besides making fun of Seth and calling him a walking clown emoji over and over again. And this is the world heavyweight champion. So I think that Seth and Drew are being done dirt. There is a lot, and I mean a lot, of backlash involving the result of the gauntlet match from Monday Night Raw that saw Sami Zayn pick up the victory over Chad Gable at the end. There is a miniature version of the We Want Cody movement going on because people are outraged that Chad Gable is not the one that would be taking on Gunther at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship. And let's be honest, Chad Gable 100% deserves to be involved in that match. One thing I saw on Twitter that I didn't see live was that Chad Gable's shoulder may have been up for the three count. And some people believe that that was done on purpose and that is a way that they can turn this into a triple threat match by Chad Gable showing that his shoulder was up and that he was screwed. But I believe that that was a real accident and that his shoulder was never meant to be up, especially because after all, they filmed a digital exclusive and Chad Gable did not once mention that his shoulder was up or he got screwed. And if that was going to be a story, then I feel like at that moment during that video, he would have mentioned it. So now all I see for Gable is that he may be involved in the tag team ladder match. And some people even seem to be upset at the idea of that, but Gable will get his match against Gunther soon after WrestleMania, no later than SummerSlam. But since the match seems to be set as a one-on-one -on -one match between Sami Zayn and Gunther, there's a real chance that Sami Zayn might come out of WrestleMania as the new champion. Sami Zayn in 2023 was a part of the biggest storyline of the year, if not one of the biggest storylines in the history of the WWE. He was in and he won the main event of WrestleMania Night 1 last year. So for Sami Zayn to not at least be competing for the Intercontinental Championship one year later at WrestleMania would be kind of ridiculous. Speaking of that ladder match, it was announced on Monday Night Raw that there will be a six pack ladder match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship at WrestleMania 40 with the five other teams having to compete in qualifying matches over the course of the next few weeks. And next week on Raw, the qualifying matches will be DIY versus the Creed Brothers, The Awesome Truth versus Indusheer, 
and the New Day versus members of the Alpha Academy, Otis and Tozawa, which I guess kind of erases the idea that Gable will be in that match, but maybe Gable will replace Tozawa, but I guess we have to wait to see. And it's kind of weird that this is the first ladder match at all at WrestleMania since WrestleMania 33, seven years ago. Ladder matches have been historically synonymous at WrestleMania, and you're telling me that in seven years we didn't have one? And for the most part, they are usually bangers, so that is kind of ridiculous. The official location for SummerSlam has finally been announced. It will take place on Saturday, August 3rd, 2024 in Cleveland, Ohio in the Cleveland Browns Stadium announced by Logan Paul on his recent episode of Impulsive, which means that without a doubt, Logan Paul will have a humongous match at this event, maybe even the main event and maybe even fighting for one of the world titles. My early SummerSlam prediction is that this is the event where we will see The Rock's first one-on-one -on -one match, and I believe that that match will be against Cody Rhodes. Now here is some news that some people might like, some people might hate, but regardless, it's news. And that is that according to Brian Alvarez, there are plans in place to bring back the beast, Brock Lesnar. As Brian Alvarez stated, in the last few days, there have been moves regarding Brock Lesnar. If you listened to the show last night with Dave, everything we talked about is accurate. Other than the roster page, there are movements to bring him back. There's more to this quote, but he basically says that he believes that it's a bad move and there have been movements indeed to bring him back. And he didn't specify what those movements are. I would take this news with a grain of salt considering where it's coming from, but still, it's news that might be true, might not be true, but it came out of nowhere. So you definitely don't even want to begin making any kind of moves to bring Brock Lesnar back unless his name or until his name is 100% cleared from these cases that we are not going to get into. So I agree, bad move, don't do it, not yet at least. The whole situation is a real shame just involving Brock Lesnar alone, whether it's true or not, whether he was involved or not, because there's a lot of dream matches that were still on the table for Brock Lesnar, especially that match that we were certainly getting at this year's WrestleMania against Gunther. But whatever the case may be, it is entirely possible that we may never see Brock Lesnar in a WWE ring again. But if he ever does return, the main thing that I'm curious to see what kind of crowd response he would get from the live audience on the day of his return because we've already seen that Vince McMahon was getting cheered the day that he came out after the allegations were made public. So I'm curious of how Brock Lesnar will be handled, but we're gonna have to wait and see for that one. Okay, those are all of the news and updates that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, that like button, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on all of the news that I broke down today. And you guys, stay smooth.